center back tandems in the league this season. Ellerson and McNeil have been great. O'Reilly is great as well. This is the first touch with the head into the space. Across the front. Backside. Big save from Hope Soto. And that's what she does. That literally gave me goosebumps. That was incredible. I thought for sure Carrie Hanks coming in and going to get one against her former team. Look at this. It was perfectly set up. How does Hope Solo keep that out of the back of the net? Dave, this is almost straight up reaction. She has to react so late because she was first. I think if she could have left the game, she would have. Just the fact was that Sky Blue FC had no subs left. The through ball here for White. Chance to make the difference. Solo again comes up with the save. She's two for two. Shots inside the area. And again, it's beautiful setup from Sky Blue FC right now. It is just incredible goaltending, which is keeping them out of the back of the net. What a beautiful little through ball that Kerry Hanks sent in. Then Casey White was there to try to put it in. She tries to go far post, and that is just perfect positioning by Hope Solo. Not only that, she makes sure that the ball to go. She was such a huge part of what they did offensively. Walsh driving it into the back post. Cleared away by White, but still alive here. Welsh trying to turn on her right foot. Loose ball shot, but right at Branham. Sky Blue FC has got to clear that ball out. They've gotten lucky a couple of times where they've held onto the ball a little bit long, played around with it in the box. If you're in the box, you better get a good clearance. And credit Christy Rampone, looking around the ground, doing absolutely everything she can to make sure that... Sure she kept O'Reilly at bay for the moment. So second chance opportunity here for the visitors. Good turn from Averbush. Gets inside, leaves it there. The shot will go in the back of the net. It's one nothing visitors. Well, Keeley Dowling, the defender, coming up, getting in the attack. Something Chrissy Rampone told us we should see today as they wanted to get more numbers up. And Keeley comes up and gets a nice ball from Yale Averbush and finishes it off. Watch Averbush really split those two defenders. They both were drawn over to Dowling. And I think that those central defenders were pulled away, focused on some of the bigger name players like Hosanna, perhaps, and they left Dowling open. Credit her aggressiveness and her, her run up there from her defender's position to get her first goal of this WPS campaign. She has three assists. Over the top, Walsh. Chance here, Branham, question of a handball, and immediately looked at the referee, Ted Uncle, and he motioned that it came off of her chest. Well, let's take a look at it right here. Watch the right side of your screen. As Branham comes out. Uh, it looked like it did hit her chest. I thought at first in real-time action that it hit her hand. Let's see if we get another look. No, that looks chest. What do you think? Maybe well, Nick the glove? Well, it's tough to tell. They still need to get the ball out wide. Good turn from Welsh. She dummied it through her own legs. Rampone slides over to slow her up. Cutting across on the left foot. The shot. And ran him down to her right to make the save. Good chance a bit. Unintentionally, though. Dowling bending it into the space. Hosanna, chance to double the lead solo. Again comes up with the save, and she'll pounce on it in the area. A good reaction by Hope Solo and good hustle to go clean up that deflection. Long service in. And then the point blank save. Probably Hosanna needed to put it away from Hope a little bit, but she's way out, cutting off that angle. It comes in here to add some spark to the attack here for St. Louis. Corner's driven in. Solo with the save to parry it away, and she'll get to it inside the area. Kolopny leaves it there for Nikki Cross. Going to call her own number to get into the space. Long distance, just wide. Oh, she had it. I think she would have beaten Branham to that far corner if that had been on target. It had the right amount of pace. She just missed. Good setup there by Nikki Cross. Not going to get blamed for calling her number. You see right there, though, Jenny Branham just knelt down and held that left knee. Cross has a couple of hesitations, really gets herself a good look, and Branham comes down on that left knee. That's what bothered her after the collision a week ago. A week ago. Ellerson, long ball over the top. Walsh giving chase right up the middle. Rampone is there as well. Ball comes loose over the top and over the bar. The momentum has completely shifted. Kai just trying to keep the ball from going out of play. There is.